Hi, this is Adam Smith, Head of Engineering at Beta Acid. Today we're going to learn enough to be dangerous about unstructured, otherwise known as NoSQL databases. Last time we looked at structured databases where we have nice, neat columns and rows where everything is already pre-planned as what, is kind of what type of data will go in which column. That's great for a lot of workloads and a lot of use cases, but sometimes we're going to need more flexibility. So NoSQL databases are great for high volume, write heavy workloads. That means you have lots of data coming in and you're writing to the database very frequently. They're optimized for that type of work. But more importantly, it's for cases where you need flexible schemas. So you don't necessarily know the shape of the data that's gonna be coming in beforehand, or there's lots and lots of variants and you don't wanna create columns in the table for each in every one of them. Another thing that might trigger you to think about a NoSQL database is if you have a schema that's going to be evolving a lot. So if you predict lots and lots of changes in the coming weeks and months, you might want to reach for a NoSQL database. But today we're just going to jump in and we're going to look at one very popular use case for NoSQL databases, which is logging. Logging just means recording some event that happens in your software. So let's take a look. Uh, we're going to go through a couple examples and just think about that this would be much more difficult to do if we were using a structured SQL database. So first would be a website visit where somebody viewed a page on your site and you would have their user ID, the session ID, where they came from. But then in another case, on your same website, you might want to be tracking a button click and you might want to track that the button click happened, the page ID, and possibly some more information about what the user was doing when they clicked that button. So you can already see that there's different types of schemas that we'd have to build for that. And then there are lots more examples of uh, website actions that a user might take that we would want to log. Uh, another example would be, let's say we have a security camera set up and there's different types of events that it can track. It can track that you know everything looks good. It can say we have a suspicious activity has been detected, like in this case where you have your camera ID, your location, detection type, a confidence score. So lots of different possibilities that our security system might send us that we'd want to log. And we wouldn't necessarily want to build out those tables with those fixed columns for each one of these examples. So that's just a quick look of where NoSQL databases might come in handy. And really what I want to do today is just give you a sense of the types of situations you might want to reach for this tool. Thanks a lot.